Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill, back for some more mission Adam Possible with Lantier, male, level 14, high elven assassin. Well, in the last episode, luckily Lantier was able to kill this nasty lightning vortex on the top of the pyramid and he managed to successfully do the pyramus, uh, end his pyramid adventure. And in the end, Lantier uh, entered this place, the Griffyard, Dwarven Graveyard. He just got quite a beating from one of these guys. Who was that? None. Strange. Can we get some health back maybe? I know what happened. I think we just had reduced toughness due to being so hungry. So, however, now our next aim is to finish the top level of Griffyard and afterwards continue to the down level and get some more artifacts for our equipment. Recruit spear. Recruit spear that randomly dropped. Not by an orc. Interesting. However, uh, you will use these ordinary arrows here. I think that with this character this should not be too dangerous to do the top level. Because he's against melee enemies, he's really very, very well equipped by now. Right. I think usually had a little more protection. Ah, he's still wearing his 7 league boots, I see. But I think that's okay. 17 protection should be enough. I will rather keep it in ASCII mode on this bad, big map. Makes it a little easier for me. What did he drop? Higher metal broadsword. Ooh, that might even be very high metal. Waiting 57 stones. I think that might be adamantium. Should be adamantium broadsword. Broadsword. Not bad. Especially for a sword fighter like our hero. Oh, that's a big amount of nasties. Let us try to get out of here. I do not want these guys to drain my <laughs> toughness. <laughs> least uh, in comparison to uh, my last mission where I was here with Mr. Narius. That <laughs> feels a whole lot safer. <laughs> Remember Mr. Narius got in grave danger here. Also surrounded by these nasty undead and he got so much trouble. Here with uh, Lantia I'm almost not afraid although we are cornered by a couple of bigger undeads. But we can just quickly kill them with this amazing weapon of his. And they're dead. Good job. So here we go. Back up here. Nothing to be found. Okay. There is a ghoul. Ghoul's a high priority. If you saw Mr. Narius try, then you know why. I hope that maybe this time we will get something nice here. Usually the chances are quite good that you find some cool pieces of equipment on the top level of the Dwarven Graveyard. Because you could also try to dig some graves and test your luck. But I'm not going to do this. Got such a feeling that maybe I would just stand right in front of a Emperor Lich, who would surely kill us, and definitely you should never do that without a means of uh, on-demand teleportation for emergencies. Potion of Invisibility? Nice, that might be helpful for our uh, shop robbing that we were talking about. Climbing goes up, literacy goes up, okay, nice, of course we take that. What do I fear? Arrows? 
The best thing that we could find would be a wand of code. If we find a wand of code, I will be a truly happy man. Because that's so this little problem. Everything's going very fine with this character so far. I will just drop some stuff here on the downstairs so we uh, are not so overburdened anymore. Mm, why are we? Ah, I remember we changed our sword to another one. Uh, can also drop this mithril sword. Back up bros. I'm gonna use the crossbow anyway, and that one. And the climbing set. And the other climbing set. Uh, did I forget to drop it? And uh, why do we have so many climbing sets? Uh huh. 43 spend speeds is actually quite cool. Might bless a couple of them later. However, we do not need Curaria. No, maybe. Um, but not Stomaceptia and. Well, no money. Burned. Is burned okay? How much do we need to drop in order to get to unburdened? A mm, little more than a hundred. Maybe we can do that. Mm, with throw boots, I'd like to keep them with me. But this broadsword, maybe not. And what else? What else? What else? Keep those blankets, of course. I will also drop some more herbs, like this that I have not even identified, and uh, this and that, and uh, I think it should be okay like this. Not burned anymore. Excellent. Just have to think, not to forget this stuff here. Yeah? I'm always good for such things that I drop my stuff at a certain location and then forget to take it when I when I go away. Okay. Ah, do not want to get cornered by you guys. So far we did not le lose any toughness points. That's good. Also no strength points. Those shadows are able to drain strength. Like this guy here. A longbow might be nice. With the Russian. So far, we do not did not find an uh, extremely overwhelming item where we say on the first glimpse, "Wow, that's the thing." That's something that might be quite nice, which we will see later if they actually are or are not. of lesser undead. Not afraid of you guys. I think none of them even managed to hit us once so far. Lots of clay. Also, once again, I'm waiting for these amazing drops to just not appear. Best thing would be a wand of code. Well, maybe a wand of wishing would be even better, but a wand of code would be very good at least. an amulet. Might be something. Ah, oh, brass amulet. But a wand that we do not know. Ah, <laughs> you may be a wand of cold. <laughs> if we find a wand of cold, then I would be, let's say, 90% sure at least that we will end this mission successfully. But that's a little random factor if we do not find one. Then I'm actually not quite sure what to do. Might be an idea to actually waste a wish on it. Try to get a wish and use it. And once of code. Sandals. But I would 
so much like to finally contribute the first point to the to the score of my team. So, did not find anything else. So this was the top of the graveyard. Might drop a little more that we just found. Hmm. Like this backup longbow. We're gonna check that later. Not gonna use that now anyway. And the money. And it's okay. Come on. Now let's go. There are quite some traps down here. So I rather put off my canvas. No. <laughs> I rather wear the uh, more durable Mithra boots. So here we go. That was a... Oh! Ouch! Holy crap! Get out of that... These physical traps, I hate them. Did you see that? Almost more than 40 points of damage from the fucking hole in which we fell. Luckily, we still got quite a lot of healing herbs with us, which we're directly gonna use now. A fucking hole in the ground! 44 points of damage. Eat the pepper petals first. I need more than 60 HP, that should be okay. Blinded. Blinded again. See, wait until we can see again. Which is now. What kind of trap was that? The trap, but this time we did not fall into it. By the way, I really do not realize the uh, effect of our alertness. Fuck you! Running a little short on pepper petals, but at least we are good on HP. Arrow barely misses us. Is this already where we should search? Yeah. So, here we go. And there is already the first serious enemy, Griff Bloodax. But I think we should be able to finish him off with Undead Slaying Arrows. Here, we've got seven arrow arrows of Undead Slaying. That's what we're going to use against him. First, kill this guy. And now, go to distance. Shoot. Okay, that was the first one, nice. Shoot. This time missed him. Good shot. Come on. Barely evade the pit, luckily. And maybe one more to kill him. Yes! The Rift Blood Axe is destroyed. Excellent. You fall into the pit. Although we know where it was and we are alert, we fall into the pit. <sighs> Not happy with our trap performance. However, we will change now to humanoid slaying ammunition, which we might soon use against another enemy. Swords level 10, excellent. Where is he? Come on, show yourself. Nonak, where are you? Come on, kill the shadow. Kill that one too. And this one. Where is Nonak? It's a zombie. Uh, uh, mummy? Come on, Nonak. Lantia wants to play. Come out, Nonak. A wand? Maybe you are a wand of cold. Well, before we fight this guy, we might change our armor to this strange wrapping. Oh, 
Okay, good that I did that because I almost forgot that we were not wearing our amulet of uh, the cold heart anymore. <laughs> Whew, <laughs> no risk, no fun, or what's that? Now we started summoning annoying little guys. Hopefully we can destroy them quicker than he can summon them. Looks good. Where is he? Come on, dude. Cannot hide all the time. I'm not really afraid of being aged, what this ghost just did. Yeah. We have a very high life expectancy. But there is our enemy. Hello. First. No. Oh, <laughs> Just try that if you want. I like to lure him a little deeper into this corridor. There he comes. <laughs> Maybe nobody told you, but we are immune to ice. Nice hit. Kill this guy quickly. Go out of my way. I am fighting someone else. Nice hit. And one more. Missed him. Now he's dead. Nice. We also finished off Nonak rather easily. What do we get here? Uh, definitely we need our slaying ammunition back. Level 15. Yes. <sighs> Continue increasing archery above 70. That's good. Also continue with stealth. Maybe twice. 93. That already looks very fine. And I'd like to also increase our dodge a little more. Good. We get a new talent. We are now already as quick as we can be. Do we need tough skin? Not really. One point of protection. I would have taken it earlier, but not now. I would rather Go for good shot or shield specialist. I like them both. Maybe I take the shield talents next. Shield specialist. Yes. Humanoid slaying. Humanoid slaying. Got it all. Nice. Here we will now make use of our pickaxe. Ha. And we get the strength. Broadsword. Griff's blood axe sword. And yet another wand. Chances are growing that maybe there is one wand of cold among these all these unknown wands. <laughs> I hope this so much. And we've got more than 70 HP, can you see that? That's something. Let's see how we do against the bone golem, I hope. Ouch, that hurt. First aid. Didn't work. Maybe in normal mode. Severely damaged. Critically and killed. Yes, worked. And these are not any kind of gauntlets. These are the elemental artifact gauntlets. Which give us uh, resistance to all the elements from now on. Physical damage is really the uh, thing we have to be most afraid of. Let us now try to get out of here without stepping into any deadly traps be wonderful if that would work. So, here we go. Nice. So, barely bait the pit, sidestep the trap. Nice. Excellent. Come on, up here. Pick up our stuff. And let's go. We are now done with the Dwarven Graveyard. We've got 5,000 more turns to play. And the only really important thing that I've still got on my list before... Wait a second, we are hungry here. Uh, gonna do something against that. Before we uh, honestly think about finishing our mission, is going to... Dark Forge. Yes, Dark Forge Rage. Dark Forge Rage is the next thing we're going to do. So come on, 
Lone Black Dragon. I would like to avoid this guy. Here we go. Orcish Patrol. Avoid these either. Don't want to waste any turns on guys like these. So, here we are. Might just. No, a Gargantuan Red does not care about us, so we do not care about it either. Let us now end this episode. I think we can be very, very, very happy with the development. We have not only done the pyramid, now we have also done the Dwarven Graveyard. And we are very well in the game. If any of these wands we found is a want of code, then I'm almost sure that we will win this uh, mission. Otherwise, well, we'll, we'll see what, what happens. However, let me say thank you to all of you guys who watched this episode and I hope to see you again for the next one. We're getting closer to the end. Don't miss that.